Hey guys, Sean here. Uh, just fusing up my 30 shot slice cake. <laughs> um, and I'm going to take you guys and show you how I did it. Now, um, I'm going to do uh, two separate uh, <laughs> two separate runs on one match. Um, and there's going to be a slight delay in it. So, we're going to start off on this 62. And we're going to do all the golds. Okay, um, now how I do this on these older uh, single shots, they have the port on the side. Now the port is roughly three quarters of an inch deep. So what I do is I take and I fold my fuse like that, and I push it right down in there. And then I take and cover it with some foil tape. Let me move my camera here so you can see. All right. Now, I learned a little trick with this foil tape because it's such a pain because there's backing on it. My fingers don't always work. So you just flick the end like that and then peel it apart. Works really well. Then just cover that up like so. And presto bamo whammo. And now I'm going to show you these, uh, these uh, bottom port ones like this. Uh, see, I see I missed a piece of tape on one, so I'm going to have to grab a piece, cover that up right there. All right, so on these, um, let's see, can you see that? Let's see. All right, we'll try that. Okay, so I'm, I'm using this uh, quick hobby fuse, 0.7 to 0.22 seconds a foot. So this thing's going to go pretty quick. Um, all total, um, it should last about... Uh, about six seconds now with the two separate runs that's gonna be cool because first the gold to go and then the uh, blue with the uh, strobe willow tail it's gonna be pretty nice so what I do is um, as you can see you know I've been sticking them in and taping them um, to keep this fuse run tight um, I like to basically hold it here come over to the other side and then that's where I'll fold it Just stick it right in that port, just like that, and you end up with a pretty nice tight run. So I'm gonna grab a piece of tape here. And it doesn't have to be pretty; it's just got to be functional. So go ahead and put that tape in there. Cause you got to hold it somehow, secure it, and uh, that seems to be just enough. All right, now we'll go back down here, and we'll just continue. Crap, we gotta cut some more tape. Yeah. Let me cut some more tape. So I'm gonna need what? One, two, three more. So there's one. I like to use this two inch wide stuff just because it's a little more heavy duty. I do have this one inch stuff here, um, but it's a lot thinner. So, you know, I, I use this for. Like when I'm covering fuse runs or something like that, that's a lot cheaper too per roll. So, Cause this stuff's I don't know seven or eight bucks, and I think I got that one inch for five bucks. And I like to go ahead and prep, prep all my tape and stuff that I'm going to need beforehand, and then I could just kind of continue to go. And once you get the knack of this, it goes pretty quick. Of course, you might get a couple that are a little stubborn here and there, but you have that with anything. Make sure you get that pressed down really tight around the, uh, the, the sleeve in there. i got to move it down. We'll raise you up, too. How's that? All right. Now you guys are probably wondering how I'm going to create my delay. And I'll show you that here in a second. Now I could just go ahead and use the same type of fuse for the delay. But uh, I'm running kind of low on it. And fuse is kind of expensive. I usually buy it by the case. In the last two years I've used roughly a case of this uh, quick fuse. The five second a foot. Um... 
15 second and the 10 second. Uh, the 20 second of foot stuff, I use that on a lot of my cakes. Um, and I space that out at about 10 inches per, per cake. And it seems to work out pretty good. I don't have a lot of sky puke. All right, there's that one. All right. All right. There's that. So now I'm going to go into this 62 here. Let me move this. Try to anyway. Get you back down here. There we go. Okay. This the same principle. I'm going to go about over here. I'm going to bend it. I'm going to stick that in there. Now the ports on these are about an inch deep. As where these are about three quarters of an inch deep. So just take that into account, you know, when you're bending your fuse. Now, something else you'll notice here is on these ports, there's a place for the wire to go. So when you match these, use an actual e match, press it in there, then use these caps, and the wire goes right there. Locks it in really nice and tight. Okay, so you'll notice on, on this side, I left a, a big tail. So I'm going to go ahead. And I'm going to tape that one up. Oh, another piece of tape. Show you this one more time. It's kind of hard working through a camera. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to run that over to the side like that. And we're going to force that tape down in there. All right. I'm going to bring this up, cut that about there, grab this excess, put it there, alright, so now we have two tails, so I want to go ahead and secure this one. And I'm just going to go like this down and dirty there. I'm going to bring this up. You see that? I'm going to take my angle cutter here and snip that off. All right, so I got to raise you up. It's kind of hard. So I've cut a couple pieces uh, about two inches square. I'm going to go ahead and peel that. And I'm going to place one under there, and I'll place one over here. There's my other piece. Dang, I gotta cut one more piece. <laughs> now, fusing can really turn into a headache, um, but I've been doing this a pretty long time. And uh, to be honest, it's gotten to a point to where uh, I really enjoy it. Now, right here where this fuse comes underneath of it, I put a couple layers of this foil tape on there, so nothing will crossfire. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another layer on there. Just like that. Kind of scared me. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to turn these up evenly. Like that. Show you this again. And it goes pretty quick if you got two people doing it, like one person peeling tape and another one fusing. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm going to take some of this uh, this yellow fuse I have. I think it's about one second a foot or so. So it's about three and a half, four times slower than the other stuff, and I'm going to double it up, um, just because I want to ensure ignition. And when I do this, I'm going to use this T method here. One there, one like that. I'm going to bend this up. And I'm going to put another one right on top of that. So I really want to ensure. I got a lot of flame right there. Alright, 
There's that. So that's pretty clean. Um, now I got to put a put an e-match on there. I got to slide this up before everything falls. All right. So I save a lot of a lot of these different types of connectors. Um, as you can tell, I've got all kinds of uh, <laughs> uh, ends and pieces there. So these come in really handy. These these wider ones. Uh, I use the screwdriver to kind of widen it out so the fuse would fit in there better, a little easier. And again, I'm going to go ahead and tr trim this right here, just a little bit, just to expose some new powder. And we're going to insert the fuse. Give me a second. I've got to widen this up again. If you don't do this quick, it uh, tends to shrink back on you. All right. I'm going to ram that all the way up into there. You see that? I didn't quite get them all together. This is the hardest part about this, guys. <laughs> Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to switch that out to this one. This is a used one here. What I like about these two is that the plastic um, contains all the fire, so the fuse has no choice but to light. Okay, this is really being a pain in the butt today. Let's dig through my pile of goodies here. Let's see if I can find a different one. This seem to be a little difficult today. Mm. Yeah, those are all that style. I could always use one of these ports. Where are you at? There we go. I don't like those though. Those come out of single shots. So I think what I'm going to do, guys, uh, just because those are giving me a little bit of a hassle, and I thought I had more, uh, but apparently I don't. So I think what I'll do is I'll just take a one of these quick match leaders here. One of these that I've cut off from a 1-4 cake. And we'll just use that. But I'm going to change my, my technique here. I'm going to cut these at a really steep angle, uh, the steepest I can get, basically, to expose a lot of powder. So you see that? Like two little arrows. I'm going to take this, get that open like that, get that inserted just like that, and then we'll tape all that together. And presto, bam, wham, we're done. Grab a piece of tape here. All right. Dang it. All right. So we're going to go. This ain't going to be the prettiest thing here, but it's going to work. Okay, there we go, well, let me grab a match, well, I'll grab one match here just to show you how I do it, but pull the plug out, and I'm sure everybody out there knows how to do this, uh, if not, well, this is how I do it, insert that in, as far as it'll go, wrap it around, and bam, it's ready. Just got to hook it up. So, all right, there you go, guys. A um, couple thoughts here. I'm not worried about any uh, cross fusing here uh, because I'm going to build a base on here and come up like that. So it'll be like an L shape. Um, but I should have about, oh gosh, a couple second delay here, which will be good. Let me get this out of there. I don't need to be there. So, there you go, guys. Um, 
just how I do it. You know, there's a thousand and one ways to do this stuff, but if it helps out, great. All right, talk to you later. Bye.